Hey guys, the Comet CE or Mitch on the Department of Bad Ideas. Do you guys know me there? And I've got some pretty shitty news. I'm not going to lie on this one. So I was looking around on the forums. I always go on to uh, the Warframes forums when I get up. I, you know, I check out what's going on, what's the news, what's going to be big, what's coming up. And I unfortunately saw about the merger happening. Perfect World Entertainment is looking to purchase Digital Extremes as a whole, not just Warframe, but the entirety of Digital Extremes. And I just, my, my heart sunk. This is, this is, as you can see from what I'm wearing here, I, I'm in the Founders Program for Warframe. I'm $250 in through Grandmaster on that. I've bought all the Prime Accesses because, you know, I've got the Misa Prime Sandana. I've bought all the cosmetic packs. I've got the, the Prime versions of the Extractors. Like, I've put a lot of money into this game, and it's not... It's my main reason for doing this isn't it isn't just because oh it's a fun game I throw money at it it's because I really like the design philosophies of the development team on this one how they're making it their own thing they're not letting anyone else dip their hands into their game and change anything and now here I am looking at Perfect World Entertainment looking to purchase Digital Extremes now this is for those of you that aren't aware of of how how Perfect World Entertainment works is the nutshell edition is they like to grab a game and they squeeze every last little dollar they can out of the game until there's nothing left and when it's dry they move on to the next one and it's just painful because I mean I've played a lot of games that are either under perfect world's license or under perfect world's ownership or were purchased by perfect world either while I was playing or soon after and I've seen what they've done it always breaks down to just, you know, games developed by a CEO and not a development team that's passionate about their game. Warframe's development team, God bless them. Those, these guys are, they are super dedicated to their game. They listen to their player base. They, you go on the forums and you look around, they're there. They're listening to what people are saying. You make a bug report, they're right on it. And it's usually fixed within a couple of hot fixes depending on, you know, the urgency of it. They listen to your suggestions. I mean, hell, look at Zephyr. She was designed by a player. Her whole concept what popped up in the fan zone. And um, I, I can already see it happening. When Perfect World steps in, they're going to try to take control of a lot of the development of this game because they're going to look at it as dollar signs, not as an experience. And um, they're just going to release stuff for the sake of making money, not for improving the game, which is a trend I've seen in every game they've dipped their hands in. I mean, a lot of you guys that play Champions Online should be very familiar with this. That game died as soon as Perfect World got their hands on it. Either Saga, another one. I was actually, I got pretty involved in that one back in the day. And uh, I that one just keeled over and died as soon as they dipped their hands in. Because it's, you're going to start seeing things like the lockboxes, which is r really notorious for Perfect World. They, they love to do their lockboxes. And these things are basically... You throw five dollars for a lockbox. I have my camera pointed over there. I'll fix that. Uh, you, you throw five dollars at a lockbox, and this is going to give you one of say twenty items. Fifteen of these items you can find normally, or will be just dirt cheap shit. Like here, have some nanospores. You know, and they're going to be. It's just going to be pretty much legalized gambling where you wouldn't normally be able to legally gamble. It's just. I can see it. I can already see it coming. It's it's just I, I'm looking at this and like I want to love this. I, I if this goes through, it, it's just like I know Warframe is going to be dead within about a month or two. It's that quick. That's that's um that's just how it goes. And I don't want to see that. I want to see Warframe. You know, for one, get out of beta. I know a lot of people don't believe that, but they're still changing entire systems with their beta. But I want to see this game get out of beta and be, you know, a phenomenal game. I want to see this be their original dream for what Dark Sector was supposed to be, become a thing. But when Perfect World walks in, it's just no, it's not going to survive the. It's not going to survive beta. Or worse yet, they're going to try to rush them out of beta to make it as official as they can, and then market it horribly everywhere. And um, worse yet, if they get a hold of, um, if they start changing around things that are in development, you can I can guarantee you'll see the visual style of the game die. Because they've done it with a lot of their games. They've gotten involved with their, their team and Yeah. So I mean I don't know. 
Right now, the best I can really say is the way Perfect World operates. They like to look at metrics. They don't listen to the they don't listen to the player base at all of the games they're taking. So if you're not logging in, they're seeing less players in the game, and it makes it seem much less attractive to them. Granted, it's really late in the process. They're not looking at what we're going to see right away on that. They're probably looking at what it's historically done. Um, so, I mean, the best you can really do is just grab your dailies and don't play. And um, I've got a petition down below I'm linking to. Sign that. Petitions speak a lot when it comes to this kind of stuff. If we can get digital extremes to do whatever they can to push this one back, to not the fight against the fact this has happened, to convince their shareholders that letting half of their sh you know majority shares be sold a perfect world is a bad idea and it's going to ruin you know the market value of this company. If we can convince them of that, we might not lose digital extremes a perfect world. So this is Mitch signing off here. I. I really hate having to deliver this news. I really do. This is not making me happy in the slightest, especially when you look at how much Warframe stuff I do on this channel. I love doing these characters. I love playing this game. I don't want to see it die. I really don't. So, catch you guys later.